Hey guys, a question I hear very often is, do you need to know coding to get into IT? What kind of jobs can you get if you learn coding? And how do you even learn to code? And what are the salaries like for coding jobs? And there are so many such questions. Let's discuss all these questions in this video. And before we dive in, let me clarify that IT isn't just about coding jobs. There are non-coding jobs as well, and I'll make a separate video about that. If you're interested, comment below, and I'll make a video on that topic. And before I get into the topic, Remember one thing guys, we are seeing a lot of layoffs almost every week now and with the current situation, you need to perform to the best of your abilities, keep upskilling and try to be in the top 1% talent pool to survive in this AI generation. That's the only way we are going to survive going forward unfortunately. I know it's tough to hear but we need to do the grind to survive. Now coming back to the coding topic, many jobs require coding skills but in this video, let's look at the top 3 and most common coding jobs. Another advantage of coding jobs is that if you want to work as a freelancer later or even fully remote, it's quite possible because there are very few developers out there who can produce quality code. Companies offer many benefits to such talented developers and there are many companies that provide great salaries along with complete flexibility, allowing you to work fully remote from anywhere in the world. Without a doubt, learning to code is a great step in your career. Now let's talk about the three most common coding rules. Number one, front-end engineer. Number two, is backend engineer and the third one is full stack engineer. Each role has different skill sets, requirements, paths and salaries. We'll discuss each one in detail, but I'll also tell you what courses to take if you want to try one of these roles. And let's begin with front end engineer. When you open a website or a mobile app, everything you see on the screen is coded by front end engineers. Front end engineers build the navigation and overall user interface. For example, when you go to Amazon website, the product catalog, the site menu navigation, and the user experience flow, and the screens you see when you click on a product are all coded by front-end engineers. An important note here, the people who design these screens are different. They are called UI UX designers. They create the design and the front-end engineers then code it. So front-end engineers don't need to design, but having some knowledge of aesthetics and UI can definitely help though it's not required. And to become a front-end engineer, you need to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and frameworks like React or Angular. And coming to the salary, the average salary for front-end engineer is around 8 lakhs per annum. With experience, it can go up to 50 to 60 lakhs per annum in a senior front-end engineer role. And to become a front-end engineer, these courses can help. If you have a computer background, that's great. If not, that's fine too, you can learn. The first one is Udemy's The Complete Frontend Web Development Course. And the second one I'd recommend is Coursera's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for web developers. Now let's talk about backend engineers. For example, let's say you open the Swiggy app and probably type best biryani in the search bar. When you hit search, the frontend sends a request to the backend. Now the backend engineers usually build a system that processes your request by searching the backend database which stores restaurant information. The server then processes your request, retrieves the relevant data and sends it back to the front end. That's how you see the search results. And coming to what backend engineers do, they build and maintain servers to host the website. They also manage databases to ensure data like restaurant details, user profiles and order history is available seamlessly. And also they create APIs that allow different parts of the website or app to communicate with each other and also external third party systems. In layman terms, if you go to a restaurant, Front-end engineers are like the waiters who take your order and serve the food, whereas back-end engineers are like the chefs who cook your meal and pass it to the waiters. And the people who manage everything together are called full-stack engineers, which is our next section. And before we talk about full-stack engineers, let's see what skills you need to become a back-end engineer, the expected salary and the courses you can take. To become a back-end engineer, you need to learn programming languages like Java, Python or Node.js and databases like MySQL or MongoDB. You also need to have a good understanding of the web server architecture and coming to the salary, the average salary for backend engineers is around 14 lakhs per annum and with experience, it can go up to 70 to 80 lakhs per annum. And here are two courses you can try. The first one is Udemy's The Complete Python Developer in 2024, Zero to Mastery. And the second one is Coursera's Python for Everybody. Now that you understand frontend and backend, let's talk about full stack engineers. Full stack engineers do all the work I mentioned earlier. They need to have both front-end and back-end programming languages and skills. And usually people start with either front-end or back-end and then go to become full stack engineers. And coming to the salary, as expected, full stack engineers earn more because they can work on any part of the project. And also the starting salaries for full stack developers can be around six lakhs per annum. And with experience, it can go even up to crores. 
and two courses you can try for full stack development are Udemy's The Web Developer Bootcamp and the other one is Coursera's Full Stack Web Development with React. And apart from these jobs, there are many other coding related jobs like DevOps engineer, data scientist, AI ML engineer, systems analyst, database admin, game developer, and much more. And if you are interested in any of these job roles, let me know and I'll discuss them in a separate video. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked my effort, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content and see you in the next one.